Hello New Style Filmmakers, in today's episode I'm going to be reviewing the Rode Wireless Go 2 system. Stay tuned. Hi and welcome to today's episode. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the Rode Wireless Go 2 system. Uh, this dual wireless system is amazing, it's incredible. This microphone is actually one of my favorite mics. Uh, I use it a lot in the studio uh, for interviews, podcasts, uh, live streams, uh, you name it. Uh, I like, there's several things that I like about this. Uh, when you get the product, you actually get two transmitters and one receiver. So right here we got the two uh, these are the two microphones, two transmitters, and you get the receiver. So essentially you can uh, interview two people um, at the same time. You got two microphones. Uh, I, over, I, I like the fact that uh, no, no cables. I'm big on that. Uh, the fact that you just clip it on to somebody. You literally just clip it on, turn it on, and uh, you're good to go. I like how easy it is to use and really you don't have to be a professional to use this system. Uh, I feel like anybody really can can uh, get this, turn it on, uh, and, and you're good to go. Today I'll be sharing the top five things that I like about this microphone. The first thing that I like, uh, and it's something that I mentioned previously, is the fact that you get two transmitters and one receiver. Uh, essentially, this makes it easier for a two-person interview, if you're doing a live stream, uh, workout. This is, this is really good for workout videos. Uh, I'm actually wearing one right now. Um, you know, so what you're hearing is from one of these mics. Um, you know, and also, I like the versatility of it. You can use it, uh, you know, with a camera. You can use it with a an iPhone, an iPod, you can connect it to your computer. Uh, it's got uh, both the, the TRS connection and it also has the USB-C connection, uh, which you can use to connect to, uh, you know, like a computer or something like that. Uh, so even if you're doing a live stream and you're using your, your computer or your phone, uh, Instagram stories, TikTok, you have, I mean, whatever, this microphone will take your, your sound game to a whole new level. The second thing I like about the mic is the, actually the mic quality, which I went into a little bit. Uh, and I'll, I'll play some samples for you for some actual uh, interviews that I've done for, for, you know, uh, for actual jobs, professional jobs, uh, for corporate interviews. I've used it on a documentary that I'm doing. Uh, so again, the versatility I've used it on live streams, I've used it on, on talk shows, um, you know, so I, I really like how versatile and also the quality, you get professional quality uh, sound. I mean, you put this microphone, uh, you know, I have other wireless uh, microphones that cost twice as much, uh, some three times as much, and the quality is neck and neck. I mean, you can't really tell the quality. Uh, so that's, that's one of the, the main things that I like about it. When I got Nikita, she's so energetic that I, I needed to let her feel like she psychologically put, and physically of course, put that energy out there and pretty much wear her out. If you like this video so far, please, uh, like and subscribe. We have uh, new episodes, uh, every week and uh, I'm going to be reviewing a lot more uh, doing more reviews, tutorials, and things like that. So uh, please like and subscribe. The next thing on my list is the fact that the mic has an onboard recording. So basically the mic can record, uh, it records to itself. Uh, it has an onboard recording system, uh, which allows you to record seven hours uncompressed uh, quality. And if you want compressed, you can get up to 24 hours of recording time. Uh, so, you know, again, if you have any issues with your microphone, you know, uh, your recorder, if you're using a task and or your camera, you know, whatever, it's good to know you have that backup in there. You might never need it, 
uh, but I think it's a nice little uh, safety feature that I really like about the microphone. Number four, I like the range of the microphone. Uh, Rode, uh, they say you can, uh, you can use it in up to 650 feet, uh, clear, uh, clear line of sight. Um, you know, again, I don't, myself, I don't foresee, you know, using it at that much of a distance, but it's nice to know that if I need to, uh, you know, I've used it, maybe I've tested it maybe at 100, uh, maybe 150 uh, feet or so, and I didn't have any issues. Uh, so, you know, again, it's a nice, it's not something that, uh, you know, for me anyway, that I would use. But it's nice to know that if I need to, that I can, you know, that I have that flexibility to use it, you know, in, in, in a distance uh, uh, such as that. The next thing that I like about it is that, you get about seven hours of, of use on a full charge. Uh, again, I've used it all day, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago. I did, uh, I think we did about four shows in the studio, uh, recorded the entire day, uh, probably about six, seven hours, and I, the battery level was still half when I was done, so, um, Again, this, this little microphone, uh, it, it just, it has so much positive that uh, to me, again, it's a no-brainer. You, you can't go wrong with the quality and, you know, and, and, and just how much you can get out of it. Uh, there's two things that I want to recommend. Uh, they don't come with the mic, but the, um, uh, the Rode, this Interview Go adapter, uh, and as you can see, I have... Uh, the second mic, I have it uh, right here, and it makes it perfect for interviews. So right here, you, you're actually hearing this microphone, and it makes it perfect if you're out on the field, if you're doing interviews. Uh, I highly recommend getting this adapter, uh, and I think it's, it's really cheap. It's less than $30. I don't know. It's, it's definitely worth the investment. Uh, the second... Um, accessory that I recommend is this uh, Mac Clip Go, which is, uh, which is what I'm wearing right now. Uh, you can see this little uh, magnet right here, and what it does is it pl uh, you plug in one magnet to your transmitter, and then you can connect the two, like you, you heard that. And it's really strong, like... Um, it actually, uh, it helps to, to hide the mic if you want to conceal the mic. You know, again, I have, I have mine right here, you can see, and uh, it works like a charm. So if you're going to get this system, I recommend these two accessories. Uh, there is also a wireless case uh, that you can get, uh, you know, that you can keep the, the, the transmitters receiver in there. Uh, but it also charges the the, the mics, and uh, I'm gonna put the description. I don't, I, I can't find mine. I know it's somewhere in here. I got a big mess in the studio. I'll put the link in the description. You know, again, I think that's another nice little add-on. Uh, you know, if you want to complete the the whole system. Um, something else that I forgot to mention about the mic is that you can either use it. Uh, you know, again, just the mic, you can use just the mic like this, you know, again, you can clip it on, you know, clip it to a jacket, you, you know, your, your shirt, whatever. Uh, but you also have the option of connecting a, a lap mic, uh, such as this one. So you can, you know, you can connect the, the, a lap to it. Not sure if you can see that on the overhead. Uh, you can go ahead and connect it, and then you just, you know, you would just clip the, uh, you know, the mic to, uh, you know, to, same as you would with any other lab. Uh, you know, you can connect it, you know, obviously under the clothes. So you can use either the mic, you know, the built-in mic, or if you want to use a lab mic, you can also do that. Uh, you know, personally... I stick with the built-in mic, uh, you know, for me anyway, one of the reasons I got it was, 
you know, to avoid having to use cables. You know, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, in fact, I think in, you know, in the future, I have a feeling that this is sort of the way that wireless microphones are going to be moving into. You know, we're probably going to see more of these. And we, in fact, we have. There's now several companies that are making this kind of uh, wireless uh, transmitters type of mics. You know, I have a feeling they're going to make them smaller and smaller. And, uh, you know, eventually it's probably just going to be something, you know, a quarter of the size of this, you know, same concept. Uh, but I do think that this, this is going to catch on. Uh, again, because of ease of use and, and things like that. So, again, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope I cover, you know, everything. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to put, you know, uh, put them down in, in, in the comments below, and I'll be uh, I'll do my best to to get back to that, uh, respond. Uh, again, this microphone I feel is the best little mic right now. Uh, if you're doing YouTube videos, or you know if you're doing live stream or even professional work, like I said I use it on actual jobs, um, you know, for my company. And uh, so far, like I said, the quality. You know, to me, it's all about the quality, and it's got professional quality, uh, the ease of use, you can't beat it, uh, so I highly recommend uh, getting one of these little puppies. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next episode. Uh, have a blessed day, and uh, see you later.